actuarial subjects explained. So if you start writing your exams from Institute of Actuaries of India, the first exam you will be writing is the entrance exam that is called as ASET or Actuarial Common Entrance Test. IFOA has no entrance exam. Now ASET is a very simple aptitude exam and can typically be self-studied. It comprises of subjects like mathematics, statistics, logical reasoning, data interpretation, quantitative aptitude and English and typically has a pass percentage between 30 to 60 percent and sometimes the pass percentages even go higher than this. After this you write your core principles exam which are CS1, CS2, CM1, CM2 and CB1, 2 and 3. CS exams have two parts. There's paper A which is to be written on Microsoft Word and paper B which is based on R programming. CM exams also have two parts. There is a paper A which is based on Microsoft Word and paper B which is based on Microsoft Excel. CB papers on the other hand are completely to be written on Microsoft Word. Now CS1 has basic and advanced statistics as its contents. Uh, so you start with probability distribution and you go all the way up to Bayesian statistics and empirical based credibility theory. CS2 is all about modeling in general insurance as well as advanced statistical modeling such as time series and Markov uh, processes. CM1 covers financial mathematics and life insurance mathematics and CM2 talks about general insurance reserving as well as pricing of options and other derivative security. CB1 is your accounting and finance paper. CB2 covers business economics and CB3 is all about your awareness and understanding of how businesses function. Then you have the CP or core practices series. CP1 is all about applying the actual knowledge that you have acquired so far in real world businesses such as life insurance, health insurance, general insurance, employee benefits or new age areas like banking and working in line with the professional and regulatory framework and exercising your judgment. CP2 is all about Excel modeling. So paper A teaches you how to build an Excel model and paper B talks about how to interpret it and communicate the results to senior stakeholders. CP3 is all about communicating with non-actuarial stakeholders. At the end of this, you qualify as an associate actuary. IFOA also has an additional requirement for qualifying as an associate that is you need two years of work experience in order to be an associate. After this you have the SP series which is the specialist principal series. Here you have to pass two exams out of the nine options that you have. The options are based on your specializations. These include health insurance, life insurance, employee benefits, general insurance, investment and finance, enterprise risk management and now banking as well. Finally, you have the essay series, which is specialist application. Here you have to pass one out of the seven exams based on your specialization, at the end of which you qualify as a fellow actuary if you have three years of work experience.